In this tutorial, we can see how we can install Python and Django less than 10 minutes. First in the system, let go and see Python is installed or not by using a command prompt and just typing Python. As we can see, Python, it's not installed in this system. So let's go and download. As I'm using Windows system, we can just go to python.org. In download session, we can find Windows binary, Mac OS, there is a dpkg package and Linux environment, we can just use the Linux installation command to install it. For Windows, just download the file, then in folder. run as admin for installation we can use add python path it will allow us to run python from command line interface and the installation i always like to customize the install by creating one separate directory in c for this, we will create one directory called tools and customize install. We can install all users, then browse and select the custom folder. See tools, create new folder for binaries python uh, p in small install installation might take some time here if we see the disable path length limit which allows us to run uh, files and folder which are more than 26 character and it's better to use this function in case some installation and some directory structure creates the character limit which stops windows to run the file so here i disabled that close now we can open a new command prompt and here I'll type python python here now we can see the python is installed exit the python command prompt And for Django, we require to install from pip. So let's verify pip as a Windows package. It is installed on this Windows system. So now we can install virtual env, which allow us to create virtual environment for each and every python application so there will be no dependency issues first i'll just make big font size so it's visible easily easily now we can go ahead and run the command pip install Python here, 
directory let's create later on first command pip install space virtual env wrapper all commands are mentioned in description link hyphen win the win is used because this is the windows based operating system for linux and for mac os we can just use virtual env wrapper and it takes one to two minute and virtual env has been installed on system now we will navigate to the folder tools let's verify 100 percent done upgrade command i don't require to go upgrade now now we will navigate to this folder cd c colon slash tools and mk virtual env to create virtual environment and we are going to use for django project so it will be um, django done if we see here it shows django means our virtual environment is ready if i exit and open a new command prompt again we can see this is not running on virtual environment and to go into virtual environment all we just need to if we want we can navigate to that folder c tools and just type work on and that virtual environment name in my case django now when we are in virtual environment we can go ahead and make one directory for our django installation django navigate to directory cd django and installed django admin by using command pip install django in this folder we cannot see anything else as the installation part it's installed on that particular virtual env now if we run django hyphen admin create our first project so start project space the project name in my case i will use the same blogging tutorial my blog now if we see here one folder is created with some files manage.py and other files to run the project all we just need to do navigate to that directory cd space my blog and run python manage.py space run server
done the project has started now you can just copy the local url 127 0.0.1 colon and paste on your browser 8000 and once we hit enter the django is running on our virtual env so if we close this command the server will also stop and if we start new command prompt we need to remember for the folder or project my blog and without starting virtual environment if we try to run the file it will give us the error python manage dot py space run server we can see it shows the error make sure django is installed no module name django so if we go on that virtual environment work on django and run the same command python manage.py run server the project is started That's it. Thank you.